so this is um, my seed setup. Um, as you saw, I am going to be trying out some tomatoes, super sweet 100s. I know, I said to my dad, I'm never going to do these you know, seeds, it's such a pain in the neck, and then I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, now I have a total setup. I've got the whole, um, I guess this is a hydro, hydro farm. Yeah, it's a hydro farm. It's a grow light. Um, from what I've read, you don't need to have a grow light, but you know what, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna just, you know, try to do it right. I am going to try Praxis's Praxis Ray's um, idea um, he had on YouTube to plant the seed way at the bottom and then as it grows I'm gonna fill in the dirt so these aren't gonna fill in this is gonna be fun Lufa. okay the Lufa pads you know um, when you're taking a shower and you got you think that little scrubby thing it can sometimes I guess be see uh, sea sponge. I always thought it was a sea sponge, but it's loofah. So I thought that was really fun. And this is supposed to be really sturdy vine and it grows and you let it grow um, to maturity and then you peel it and dry it out and you take out all the seeds and you have a loofah and you can cut it up and you can use it for your, for your pots and pans and stuff. So, you know, this is more of a fun thing. It's a very, very long uh, cycle it, t it takes a long time so I definitely need to get these seeds started okay I wanted to show you how I'm germinating my seeds um, what I have here is cantaloupe seeds and I put them in this plastic bag on March sec uh, 7th. March 7th, and today is March 11th. So what I did was take the plastic bag, you probably saw this already on other uh, YouTube channels. Um, you take a paper towel, dampen it, don't make it soggy, just, just moist, and then you put the seeds in there. What I did was I dampened it first, then put the seeds and then folded it over. And see the little seeds are sprouting already. Look at that. Okay, this is the watermelon that was planted um, three weeks ago. You can see it's got some pretty good secondary leaves on it. This is my uh, cherry tomatoes, sweet 100. As you can see, I planted them deep in the pot and I fill up the dirt as it grows up and they're looking pretty good. They're looking uh, nice and healthy. This is um, an opelka. It's a uh, Roma type tomato plum tomato and here is another opelka. I started these um, a week later than the cherry tomatoes. This right here is Lufa. I know they sprouted really really well. They're looking good. Um, yeah I got three in there um, but they're looking really really good. Here's a uh, pickle bush cucumber they look quite similar to the loofah. You could tell those loofah leaves, um, you know, show the veins a little bit more. And here's some broccoli. What you see here, this is some cinnamon. I don't know. I don't think I'll get damping off, but I've heard that cinnamon helps that. Um, so I'm going to give it a couple more weeks and then we'll start planting them in. Okay, I want to show you my tomato plants. Um, I did the Ray Praxis method. Um, this is a transplant. And this right here, um, I didn't get to transplant that yet, but I did start it, you know, uh, 
actually what I did was a little bit of a twist. I um, put the seeds in the paper towel, dampened the paper towel, put it in the plastic bag, let it hatch, and then um, put the little seedling in the bottom and filled the dirt as it went up. Here's another one. These are the Sweet 100, I think that's what you call it, Sweet 100 indeterminate plants. Um, this is my cute little uh, Genovese basil. Isn't it cute? Um, I don't like these pea pots. I don't think I'm going to do it next year. I'm not liking that at all. Um, another happy tomato plant here. Here's my loofah. This is going to be fun. Um, I have a lot of loofah. They said online that it was hard to germinate the seeds, but I used that paper towel, damp paper towel, in the plastic bag method, and um, I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, and I've got some more back there. That's why I'm looking back there. Isn't that cute? I started doing these um, newspaper pots, and I I like this. It's cheap. Um, and you could just bury it right in the ground. Well, you could do it with the peats, but I just don't feel like they're going to break through. It seems kind of tough for them to do. Um, got some happy little broccoli here. Isn't that cute? This is the Calabrese, and I had done the two different um, kinds. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Dicicchio, D-I-C-C-I-O. Isn't it cute? And again, this, um, these were planted on uh, February 7th, I think. I think they were. Um, so it's been a, a couple months, but these are definitely ready to go in. Hopefully it's not too late. It's kind of hot in Dallas, and it's Happy Easter. Um... So I've also got, okay, so what, what else I'm doing is I'm doing the um, alyssum. This is alyssum. It smells like honey. And you know what? I put this in the raised beds, and they said it attracts hoverflies, and hoverflies are a predatory um, insect. Sure enough, I already put some in the garden, and I got some uh, hover hoverflies. So that's really, really good. Got some petunias. Um, <laughs> they're supposed to attract a beneficial insects. I'm not sure which one. Look it up online. Anyway, so we are going to get started planting. And I also have some cantaloupe too. Um, so this, I think I showed you the cantaloupe. This actually is the cantaloupe. No, that's a loofah. I have cantaloupe here somewhere. Always label your plants, and I just use little popsicle sticks for right now. Um, and we're going to try to do this organically. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't want to have to use 7 and methylon and diazinon and all those things if I don't have to. Um, so we're going to try going um, organic, and no, I'm not a tree hugger either. So. Uh, we're gonna try it now the beans I planted didn't work um, we had 10 inches of snow um, a few weeks ago I know in Dallas and um, I had already had planted them in I think between the all the moisture and the cold weather they just didn't it's like they rotted or something so we're gonna try it again anyway all right bye